Previously on the district. Aaron? We are not prepared to talk about the details of the case, except to say at this point, Chief Mannion has been the apparent victim of foul play. Mr. Attorney General, if I may ask what your interest is in all of this? The chief of police of our nation's capital may have been assassinated. I thought you said you saw the shooter. No, no, no. I need to know who wants me dead. I need to know everything the police know about what happened to the chief last night. No, it's the undersecretary of state that's trying to kill you. He doesn't have the guts. Where are you going? I'm going after him. Like he's not going to notice a clown on his... Follow that cap! your license and registration please yeah uh, what's the problem officer what i do well you were speeding and you're weaving all over the highway all right officer uh mr bencher look i'm mpd i'm on the job hey hey keep your hands where i can see him all right no no i'm just gonna show you my badge no it's no i'll take a look at it you just get out of the car i told you dumbass i was a cop i'm an mpd yeah! i'm an mpd i'm an mpd you know what get out of the car means huh that's what it means my guy pulls him over for speed, asks him for his license. Your guy cops an attitude, goes for his bag. Look, it's no excuse, but uh, you know the situation with the chief, stress for all of them. You're right, it's no excuse. Okay. Your guy's a rookie, right? Maybe he copped an attitude. My guy wasn't holding crack. Five grams. Found it in his gym bag. Can you separate cap? Sure. I'm gonna need that back. Yeah, sure thing. Just a sec, with you guys. You got it. Thanks. 
How you doing, Speedy? That guy right there? You shouldn't be wearing a badge. You should be wearing a number. So what are you doing with this stuff? I got that off the guy we busted last night. I forgot to vouch you. Oh, come on, man. What, you think I'm doing crack now, man? Oh, man, you know, something set this guy off. DWB, driver while black. That's what set him off. I'm gonna file a complaint. You profiled me, man. You put my face in the paper. I didn't get away with that. I trust you paid a visit to the evidence room this morning, detective. Captain Mills called me. I'm sorry, sir. I have no excuse. I meant to vouch for the stuff last night, and... Don't you ever make that mistake again, you got it? I won't, sir. Aaron Varotoloff would like to talk to you guys. Us? Why? She need a blood transfusion or something? She waived her right to counsel. Her lawyer won't be there. Go see what she has to say. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm telling you the truth. Chief Mannion is alive. Yes. I saw him. He came to me after I shot him. I was on the way to the OR. He was dressed as an orderly, and we spoke. And I told him what happened. I told him everything. Can you tell us where he is? I don't know. But please, don't send me to prison for something I did not do. I didn't kill him. Come on, let's go. It wasn't my idea to shoot him. Oh, but wait a minute. Whose idea was it then? The Undersecretary of State had him with him. Come on! It's true. He promised that he would help me get away. Somewhere safe and far away from my father and his people. You can understand that, can't you? You know what I understand? I understand that you shot the chief. You threw the gun in the river. You fled the scene. You got hit by a car. And somebody else is the bad guy? I was set up. You know what? They did a good job. Witten had a thing for the chief. How would she know that? Uh, the newspaper? It's not like she's saying she didn't pull the trigger. She's trying to save her own Devin. Temple, if there's a 1% chance the chief's still alive, how can we not check it out, huh? The chief is dead, Kevin. He's dead and he's gone. We just packed it up, uh, stacked him over there. These remarks are excellent. Thank you, Chief. I'll cut them in half and get back to me. You're moving into the Chief's office. What's that all about? I am the acting Chief of Police. And you can't act as Chief from your own office? Ella, you want to accuse me of something? Do it. Don't talk around it. Hey, excuse me, Miss Farmer. Fine. You have always wanted his job, Joe. But to move into his office now when we haven't even found it, when we don't know if he's... It's disrespectful! Ella. I expected a lot more from you, Joe. Ella Farmer. A lot more. Ella! Hey, you see the shrink yet? No, I'm not done it. Hey, you want to keep it down over there? I think you should. It's helping me, you know, deal with stuff. Yeah, but I don't got any stuff. See, you can't even talk about it. I'm telling you, as your friend, go talk to someone. Oh, so now we're just friends all of a sudden. Friend. Hey! Knock it off! Well, I'm chewing. Yeah, I know what you think you're doing Brander. over there, okay? You don't Brander. think I can see? Huh? Come here! Come here! Come here! What's the matter with you? Are you all right? I don't know. Oh, yo, yo, what's going on? This is Claire's house, right? Chief would not be down with this. Chief's dead, remember? Besides, he wanted me to stay with her. He told me to. Yeah, but I don't think he meant for you to do all this stalker-type nonsense. You know Shut up, will you? Get back in the car. You want attention. You lost your mind. Come on, let's go.
U.S. Marshals, Colonel. The Attorney General would like to see you. Give me a second. Let me change my duds. Any idea why Chief Mannion, your friend, would pretend to be dead if in fact he wasn't? No. Do you know anything about Chief Mannion? What happened to him, his current condition, his whereabouts? No, sir, not a damn thing. General? Six days ago, the day after Chief Mannion was shot, the day the Undersecretary of State, Adam Witten, traveled to Paris, you requisitioned transport of unidentified human cargo aboard a C-130 to Ramstein Air Force Base in southern Germany. This is your authorization, isn't it? Yes, sir. To my knowledge, Ramstein is very close to Paris. You see where I'm going with this? Sir, the human cargo of which you speak is uh, one Jacques Raveau, a fully documented Q clearance level 5 CI who's worked for me out of Ho Chi Minh City since 1981. Part of his cover for this sortie was a trip back home to Paris to visit an elderly aunt. Anything I say beyond that is classified. The Colonel, in my universe, a lie is a lie whether it's classified or not. Omissions, fibs, white lies, it's not a matter of degree. You understand? I'm the same way, sir. Leg and bullet holes are in a great mix, Chief. You sure you don't want to take a rest? No, I'm fine. Attorney General hauled my ashes. They found the flight authorization. Asked me a lot of questions about you. And? Yeah, he's smart. He's in our business. I just don't know what side he's playing for. Now, let's hear. This guy is the Minister of Industrial Petrol Resources for Armenia. All right. This guy here is from Azerbaijan. He's connected to the largest oil drilling company in the Caspian Sea. Okay. Now, what about our friend, Laszlo Vazmir? Now, you put Putin away, this guy stepped in. He made a hundred mil last year on heroin. So, Undersecretary of State Whitten has coffee with an oil executive one day. Next day, he, he meets with one of the world's largest drug dealers, and then, all of a sudden, the CIA shows up. What the hell is going on? Why does he want to kill me? Well, why don't you ask him? You crazy son of a... 
you miss me. It's cold this time of year. Oh, piss off! Well, you're not as well spoken when you're all wet. You're finished. It's over! You're dead! You're right. You're right. I am dead. But, uh, which means I can do practically anything, doesn't it? But why don't you tell me why you arranged for Aaron Bradlaugh to kill me? You're insane! Why is the head of the INL having coffee with a major drug lord? You need help. Professional help. Get a therapist. Now get me out of this chair! I tell you what. I'm going to kick this little winch, and I'm going to go have myself a nice hot cup of tea. You don't have to. Whitten, when I'm done with you, you're going to wish I drowned you. We're not on the playground. Let's resolve this. That's why we're here, Deputy Chief. I talked to Detective Page. All he wants is an apology. If I'd known you were a cop, obviously, I wouldn't treat you that way. I'm sorry. All right. It's done. Let's move on from here. No, you wait a minute. I told you I was a cop. And I told you I wasn't taking any chances. Look, Chief, what Officer Bencher isn't saying is we have a Nigerian crew with a fondness for Ford Explorers dealing crack in the park down there, okay? It's a DEA profile, okay? We're good? No, we're not good. Do I look like I'm part of a Nigerian drug crew to you? That's enough to... This guy dragged me out of my car! Which I found crack in, by the way. What kind of crack are you, man? What the hell did you just say to me? Sit down, detective. Officer. Sit. not going to fight it out here, gentlemen. Now, either you accept this man's apology or you prefer formal charges against him. Those are your two options. What's it gonna be? I'm gonna file a complaint. You had a real nice day. Chief. Your wife's lawyer? Get out of there now. Excuse me, officer. I'm looking for Detective Debrino. Uh, yeah, he's... Oh. Well, I guess he's not here. Is there anything I can help you with? No, that's okay. I'll come back. Sure? Hey, 
team. We thought you were dead. Ah, oh, Bernie, came back just for you. All that overcharging, you know. Al Farmer. All right, now here's the thing. You're standing up. I need you sitting down. Chief. Chief. Oh, huh, that's good. Syllables are good. Here's the thing, Ella. I'm going to be needing your help, so I don't want you going catalytic on me. Are you sitting down? Yes. Good. Words are good. I'm not a ghost. I'm real. In fact, I am coming down the steps and I'm about to hit the bullpen just about now. I can hardly wait to see you. Chief! 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 You're alive! Chief! You're alive! Hey. I see you were alive! Chief! Oh, my goodness! Oh, it's so good, good to see you! I knew it! I knew you were alive! Yeah. He's alive! He's alive! He's alive. What the hell is going on? I missed you, Ella. The whole thing is about oil. 33 billion barrels of it in the Caspian Sea. More than all the reserves in the U.S. And we want a piece of it. So... In order to get it, we've got to run a pipeline over some friendly countries into a friendly port, namely the Arabian Sea. So we send Under Secretary of State Adam Witten to broker the deal. And all of a sudden, he decides, well, wait a minute. I'm going to run my own pipeline my own way. I'm going to run it through some not-so-friendly countries into the Mediterranean. The problem is he's breaking the law. There's an embargo between Armenia and Azerbaijan. So what's he do? He takes U.S. tax dollars... And he bribes a drug lord by the name of Laszlo Basmeri. Laszlo Basmeri had a mentor by the name of somebody we all know and love. Starts with a D. Dmitry Putin. Dmitry Putin, yeah. Now, I get rid of Putin. Witten's afraid I'm going to get rid of Basmeri, so he has to kill me. So all we got to do is link Witten and Aaron Bradlow. Witten gave her the gun, right? Right. And forged a paper trail, and where there's paper, there's people. Let's see what we can dig up. I'll keep you posted. Good to see you, Temple. Yeah, okay. It was something I said. You didn't think there'd be fallout from your little charade? When I had cancer, if I had decided to play dead and lock myself away, not tell anyone, if I had done that, rejected your support how would that have made you feel Bad. right yeah and that's how temple feels and how i feel angry and hurt that you didn't let me in elated that you're alive furious that you duped me and sad that you didn't trust me enough to confide in me Ella. Oh, Ella. Hey, wait, wait, wait. you know what i think your problem is no, what? I went to Paris without you. You are impossible. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Hey, Got your present. I do not want a present. You sure? I think you're gonna wanna open it. Four nights at the Ritz in Paris. Hmm. When am I ever going to get to see Paris? On your honeymoon. Who told you? Saw the ring. That was uh, after you got uh, back. I shot the hand time. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. I do hate you. You do know that. Oh, yeah. But you'll get over it. Mm -hmm. I mean, work on it. Work on it, baby. You're going to wear white. Hey, I'm straight. So it is possible somebody falsified the ballistics information on the gun that shot the chief. Well, if it is, there'd be a record of it in the system. Let me check. Yeah, here we go. Looks like there's someone in here last month. Somebody who? R.R. Look for the I.N.O. Witten's group. I'll print it out for you. 
Okay, well, according to this, there's nobody at the INL with the initials R.R. You got anything? Just a bad feeling. I don't even think this is a real signature. It's just a scrawl. We've been scanned, but man, we got nothing. We're nowhere. Dead end. Oh, um, Chief Manion? Yeah. Hi. Uh, I scheduled a press conference at four. I, I thought we could go over your yes, remarks. Uh, Chief, that's not an option. Why? Because you've been dead for over a week. You've got to talk to the press. How come? That's the only rational media strategy. Uh-huh. Um, let me ask you a question. You like, uh, movies? What do you like to do? Read? What's your favorite thing to do? Um, I, I like to go to the movies. You like to go to the movies. All right, uh, why don't you start doing some reading and uh, anything by Tacitus and Imperial Rome, the Caesar commentaries, uh, anything to do with the Civil War, huh? Good talking to you. Oh, wait a minute. What's your name again? Uh, Kendall. Kendall. Truman. Truman. What's it, Kendall or Truman? Last name Truman, first name Kendall. Yeah, sure. Chief Mannion, Troy Hatcher. Sorry for keeping you waiting. How do you do? Hold my calls. Yes, sir. Come in. Thank you. Uh-huh. Boy, this is nice. He came with the job. It's good to remember it's only temporary, like all jobs in Washington. I had a chance to go over your file on Undersecretary Witten. You want me to give you a search warrant for his house? An undersecretary of state's house? Off of this? You got a lot of hoods, but chief. Huh. Well, who do you think was the best? Gail Sayers or Walter Payton? Gail Sayers. I gotta go with Walter Payton. Sweetness. Huh? He had hoods, but he getting shot raises your hoods levels. This is personal. I understand that. But I'm not going to authorize a fishing expedition because you snapped a few photos which may or may not support your allegations against Undersecretary Witten. Hmm. So that's a no on the warrant then? Chief Mannion, I'm impressed with what you've done at the district. But there's a line. It's called the law. I don't expect you to cross it. And don't ask me to. Sir, all I am asking you to do is take a look at a corrupt presidential appointee who at the very least is bending the rules of foreign policy. Now, you're telling me there's not a single thing in that file that piques your interest, not one thing? <sighs> Turn over all you have to the FBI. If and when they bring me what I need to issue a warrant against an undersecretary of state, I'll put my job on the line to help you bring him down. We'll see. We've got a drug lord. And look who he's with. An undersecretary of state. I don't know. That's not the best shot. Oh, yeah. And then there's, you know. Oh, oh, oh. Jack, your obsession with things that are none of your business almost got you killed. Why don't you just take it easy? Why don't you talk to me, John? He's completely off the plantation, kind of like you. Yeah. He's jeopardizing everything we're doing in the Caspian. Oh, my God. It's a shame. Can I finish? Yeah, go ahead. I went there to try to stop his shenanigans. Shenanigans? Yeah. Hooligans and shenanigans. What are you, turning Irish on me, John? <sighs> he tried to kill me. So you think if I knew about that, I wouldn't let that happen? I don't know. I'm just starting to like you, Jack. Really? So I'm going to take Witten down. You want to go with him? Don't make this worse, Jack. You're going to go down with him? Is that what you want? 
You can help me. I got nothing. Yeah. Okay. You think about it. How'd you go with the Attorney General? Oh, guys, she's starting to bug me. Really? Yeah. Why? Because she's doing her job or because she's not Nick? No, because Nikki knew when to push and not to push. Oh, she just give her a chance. You have the pick of the litter and you hired Nikki her. Nikki understood me, Ella. No, you understood him. She's not going to be that easy. Why don't you just... Think of it as a challenge. Ella! What? You know anything about this? No, it's a box of steaks. Uh-huh. Well, I can see that. I mean, you know where it came from? It arrived while you were with the Attorney General. You don't find that strong? Strong. Yeah. Yeah, I've been gone a week, presumed dead, and then first day I'm back, somebody sends me a box of steaks. So... Well, what I find strange is that you don't think it's strange that you were gone for a week, presumed dead, but let's not go there. <laughs> Those are issues. Yeah, oh, open the box. Well... Alex Malavi, shipping coordinator. <laughs> Don't gorge yourself. I know how carnivorous you can be. J.R. Who's J.R.? John Reynolds, CIA. Here it is. Alex Melody, also known as Ronald Resker. Ryan Ronaldich, Ryan Romanski. Armenian Army, jail for treason, 1989, escape, 1996. I know operative in Turkmenistan. Kind of a come down, isn't it? Go from special ops in Turkmenistan to the shipping department of Buckhorn Snakes. Get him. Gordon Claire's lawyer ain't gonna wanna get back with you, you know that. Why don't you just give it up, man? Let her go. You got a drug problem, Temple? What? Look, I understand you were stressed thinking the chief was dead, but all that crack in the gym bag, come on. And I'm thinking this whole profiling thing, you don't have a problem with it when we do it. Plus, the guy apologized to you. You could have dropped the white, didn't you? I can't help believe this. Just like you did a couple weeks ago on that last undercover gig. Now you're going after this rookie to cover it all up. Am I wrong? Yeah, you're wrong. Okay. Now, I thought you had my back, but obviously you don't. So, Come on, man. I don't mean to bust your hump. All I'm saying is, if you need help, come see me before you go see the chief. That's all I'm saying. Excuse me. I'm Detective Page, MPD. I'm looking for Alex Malovia.
Talks about a cash cow. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're saying then that the UH-60 is your bread and butter? The UH-60 helicopter has greatly bolstered our counter-narcotics efforts in Tashkent. Yet you're requesting another $94 million. Yes, Mr. Chairman, discretionary funds to help us round out our programs on the ground. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I want you to ask him how much of that money he's going to send to his drug buddies in Azerbaijan. Pay attention. Mr. Chairman. I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. Jack Mann, Chief MPD. Mr. Chairman. What is it, Chief? I, I realize this is an intrusion. I ask your indulgence, but I'm here to tell you that this man, the one that you've been funding to support our drug war abroad, has actually been using that money to... Well, he's been giving it to drug lords. That's what he's been doing. This is ludicrous. Chief Mannion has had a personal vendetta against me since he came to town. He's a liar. Every single penny the INL spends has been requisitioned, approved, and audited by this committee. No, 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 no. Not your discretionary funds. Are you trying to hang yourself? Uh, this is your necktie party, partner. Bring in the beef! Yeah! Now, hidden in these boxes labeled as USDA prime beef are our tax dollars. And that money has actually been given by Witten to drug lords. Now, if you run the serial numbers of that money, I think you'll find they match the serial numbers of last quarter's discretionary fund. You're under arrest, Witten. You've done more harm than you know. God, I hope so. Cuff him, Temple. You're the right to remain silent. Anything you say, Kevin, he's a pleasure in the court of law. Hi. Hi. So how's it going? The chief's avoiding me. You want my tape? Yes. Don't get discouraged. And don't let him intimidate you. Argue. Just make sure it's about something bigger than yourself. And what you think you know about loyalty, triple it. And you'll know what he expects of you. Well, he can expect anything he wants, but how am I supposed to work with him if he won't let me work for him? You like old movies? Why? <laughs> Go home. Rent Red River. It's an old John Wayne Western. Okay. Uh, what does that have to do with anything? Maybe nothing. Maybe something. Maybe everything. Trust me. Hang in there. I really don't even understand why I'm here talking to you. The guy arrests me because I'm black. He cuffs me in the dirt. And I'm supposed to take the high road. I'm not a priest, detective. But maybe this is a test of faith. How so? Well, God gave you a gift. The return of the chief. Maybe he wants you to return the favor by showing a little forgiveness. Right. You don't sound very convinced. Well, maybe I'm not that good of a person. Maybe it would have been easier in some ways if the chief didn't come back. How so? Because then I'd have an excuse. An excuse? Excuse for what, detective? What you'd like to know, Officer Bench has been suspended indefinitely. Good. Every candidate for mayor in this election is going to make profiling a political issue. They're all itching for a scapegoat. You expect me to lose sleep over that? Why are you doing this, son? If every dealer in a certain block is black, are you going to be stopping white guys most of the time? No. But I don't expect to be harassed because I'm black either. Bencher's been out of the academy six months. You're going to tell me you never made a mistake? Chief, are you ordering me to back off this? I'm hoping to remind you that if every cop is accused of racism that uses his instincts, that's the end of public safety. 
With all due respect, you weren't there. I'm a black man first, and a cop second. With all due respect, Mr. Black Man, I am a black cop, period. restraining order for what grabbing a few signs that's a joke yeah we're filing that joke unless you leave her alone and sign the divorce papers like you promised look sign the papers detective let her go i have an execution copy right here agreement which was you were to come to me if you got more evidence on Witten I didn't think you'd do anything about it what you did cost a man his life I didn't put the gun in his hand I didn't pull the trigger now how is that going to bring us any closer to knowing who else was involved or how deep this thing goes that's what I do here I'm the chief of police I conduct investigations number one attempted murder mine number two Apparent suicide, Adam Wittens. Now, who knows what I might turn up. Now, why aren't we on the same side in this? I told you that I admired what you're doing here, Chief. And I often thought that you'd be an asset down the road. Sir, I don't think we're going down the same road. You can bet on it. I don't like the way you do things, Chief. At all. Join the club. Previously on the district. Aaron? We are not prepared to talk about the details of the case, except to say at this point, Chief Mannion has been the apparent victim of foul play. Mr. Attorney General, if I may ask what your interest is in all of this. The chief of police of our nation's capital may have been assassinated. I thought you said you saw the shooter. No, no, no. I need to know who wants me dead. I need to know everything the police know about what happened to the chief last night. Now, it's the Undersecretary of State that's trying to kill you? He doesn't have the guts. Where are you going? I'm going after him. Like he's not going to notice a clown on his... Follow that cab! you got to be kidding me. I'm the chief of police, damn it! Follow the cab!
See your license and registration, please. Yeah, uh, what's the problem, officer? What I did? Well, you were speeding and you're weaving all over the highway. <laughs> all right, officer, uh, officer Bencher, look, I'm MPD, I'm on the job. Okay. Hey, hey, keep your hands where I can see them, all right? No, no, I'm just gonna show you my badge. No, no, I'll take a look at it. You just get out of the car. I told you, dumbass, I was a cop. I'm an MPD! Ah! I'm an MPD! I'm an MPD! You know what get out of the car means, huh? That's what it means! Come on, PD. My guy pulls him over for speed. Uh -huh. Asks him for his license. Uh -huh. Your guy cops an attitude. Goes for his bag. Look, it's no excuse, but uh, you know the situation. The chief, the stress we're all under. You're right. It's no excuse. Okay. Your guy's a rookie, right? Maybe he copped an attitude. My guy wasn't holding crack. Five grams. Found it in his gym bag. Two separated cap. Sure. I'm gonna need that back. Yeah, sure thing. Give us a sec for you guys. You got it. Thanks. How you doing, Speedy? You okay, right there? You shouldn't be wearing a badge. You should be wearing a number. So what are you doing with this stuff? I got that off the guy we busted last night. I forgot the voucher. Oh, come on, man. What, you think I'm doing crack now, man? Oh, man, you know, something set this guy off. DWB, driver while black. That's what set him off. I'm going to file a complaint. You profiled me, man. You put my face in the paper. I didn't get away with that. I trust you paid a visit to the evidence room this morning, Detective. Captain Mills called me. I'm sorry, sir. I have no excuse. I meant to vouch for the stuff last night and... Don't you ever make that mistake again, you got it? I won't, sir. Aaron Varatilov would like to talk to you guys. Us? Why? She need a blood transfusion or something? She waived her right to counsel. Her lawyer won't be there. Go see what she has to say. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm telling you the truth. Chief Mannion's alive. Yes. I saw him. He came to me after I shot him. I was on the way to the OR. He was dressed as an orderly, and we spoke. And I told him what happened. I told him everything. Can't tell us where he is. I don't know. But please, don't send me to prison for something I did not do. I didn't kill him. Come on, let's go. It wasn't my idea to shoot him. Oh, but wait a minute. Whose idea was it then?
the Under Secretary of State had them with him. Come on! It's true. He promised that he would help me get away, somewhere safe and far away from my father and his people. You can understand that, can't you? You know what I understand? I understand that you shot the chief. You threw the gun in the river. You fled the scene. You got hit by a car. And somebody else is the bad guy? I was set up. You know what? They did a good job. Witten had a thing for the chief. How would she know that? Uh, the newspaper? It's not like she's saying she didn't pull the trigger. She's trying to save her own Devin. Temple, if there's a 1% chance the chief's still alive, how can we not check it out, huh? The chief is dead, Kevin. He's dead and he's gone. I just pack it up, uh, stack him over there. Who do you take for all those? Yeah, I'll make sure. One of those books. Keep them all together. These remarks are excellent. Thank you, Chief. I'll cut them in half and get back to me. You're moving into the chief's office. What's that all about? I am the acting chief of police. And you can't act as chief from your own office? Ella, you want to accuse me of something? Do it. Don't talk around it. Excuse me, Miss Farmer. Fine. You have always wanted his job, Joe. But to move into his office now when we haven't even found it, when we don't know if he's... It's disrespectful! Ella. I expected a lot more from you, Joe. Ella Farmer. A lot more. Ella! Oh, yeah, Larry had a Hey, you see the shrink yet? No, man, I'm not gonna. Hey, you wanna keep it down over there? I think you should. It's helping me, you know, deal with stuff. Yeah, but I don't got any stuff. See, you can't even talk about it. I'm telling you, as your friend, go talk to someone. Oh, so now we're just friends all of a sudden. Friend. Hey! Knock it off! Well, I'm chewing. Yeah, I know what you think you're doing Brander. over there, okay? You don't Brander. think I can see? Huh? Come here, get him! Get him! What's the matter with you? You all right? I don't know. Oh, yo, yo, what's going on? This is Claire's house, right? The chief would not be down with this. The chief's dead, remember? Besides, he wanted me to stay with her told me to. Yeah, but I don't think he meant for you to do all this stalker-type nonsense. You know Shut up, will you? Get back in the car. You're drawing attention. You lost your mind. Come on, let's go. U.S. Marshals, Colonel. The Attorney General would like to see you. Give me a second. Let me change my duds. Any idea why Chief Mannion, your friend, would pretend to be dead if in fact he wasn't? No. Do you know anything about Chief Mannion? What happened to him, his current condition, his whereabouts? No, sir, not a damn thing. General? 
Six days ago, the day after Chief Mannion was shot, the day the Under Secretary of State, Adam Witten, traveled to Paris, you requisitioned transport of unidentified human cargo aboard a C-130 to Ramstein Air Force Base in southern Germany. This is your authorization, isn't it? Yes, sir. To my knowledge, Ramstein is very close to Paris. You see where I'm going with this? Sir, the human cargo of which you speak is uh, one Jacques Bravo, a fully documented Q-clearance level 5 CI who's worked for me out of Ho Chi Minh City since 1981. Part of his cover for this sortie was a trip back home to Paris to visit an elderly aunt. But anything I say beyond that is classified. The Colonel, in my universe, a lie is a lie whether it's classified or not. Omissions, fibs, white lies, it's not a matter of degree. You understand? I'm the same way, sir.